Hey guys, Andrew here with another installment of Two Minute Tech, a segment where I do some kind of techie thing or tech explanation in under two minutes. And today, I'm going to go over exactly how RAM affects PC performance. So let's dive in. Imagine you're driving a car on an old back road, one lane going north and another lane going south. Now think of the car you're driving as a computer program. And the speed limit of the road is your PC processor's clock speed. As it stands, you can drive one car or one application at a max speed and nothing more. But what if your car wasn't a car? What if it was a huge 18-wheeler tractor trailer? Or even a tank? I mean, it could be a tank. That one-lane back road isn't really going to be able to accommodate a vehicle of that size. Unless you widen the road. By widening the road, you allow more of that vehicle to pass through unhindered. Or in the case of RAM, having more of it allows for more robust and resource-dependent applications to use the system's resources uninhibited by previous limitations. I'm looking at you, Google Chrome. But in all seriousness, RAM may not necessarily speed up your system, at least not how you think it will. But having enough for the tasks you perform regularly will stop Windows from accessing the dreaded page file, which is a portion of your hard drive Windows uses as a stand-in for RAM when the system has low available memory. Hard drives and even speedier SSDs still operate much more slowly than traditional RAM, so that's what usually causes dips in performance. For most PCs, I recommend 8GB of RAM at the least. This gives you plenty of headroom for games and other applications. If you're a content creator, 16 gigs should be the minimum. Note here that RAM speeds don't really matter unless you're talking about Ryzen systems, but that's a topic for another time. Thanks for watching guys, give this video a like if you like it, get subscribed if you want to see more, support me on Amazon by buying some RAM linked in the video's description. This is 2 Minutes Tech, signing off.